Today on this 99 Dodge Durango, we're going to install Roadmaster base plate part number 246-6. First thing we're going to do is open up the hood. We're going to start removing the bumper. Two bolts on top here and here that we have to remove. Next we got to remove these two bolts as shown for the bumper brace. The vehicle has uh, fog lights, go ahead and disconnect those as well. There's this little tab you pull right here, it comes right apart. Now we have to remove this bolt here that hooks up to the fender liner. All right, we'll just take this and just kind of push it out of the way from the bumper. All right, we're gonna remove these plastic rivets from a shroud right here. At this point, we can go ahead and remove the bumper. You wanna get an extra set of hands to help do that. These two fasteners we have to remove is Pull back on it and just slide forward. We're done with our driver's side, do the same thing on the passenger side. Now this is a plastic grip we have to remove as well. It's a little easier to do it when the bumper's off. All right, our next step is to go ahead and remove these three nuts here, here, and here. And this hardware will be reused. Loosen up the bolt before you take them off. Go ahead and make some marks with this bracket here and with the frame. So that'll help you align it up you put everything back together because this whole thing is going to become loose. All right, now we're going to take our, our frame bracket, we're going to take it aside here and slide it over the bolts. Now that's a really super tight fit. We found if you take out the body mount bolt here, you have a little more room to work with. I can put our body bolt back into place. Okay, we got all our bolts snug down. We didn't torque them down yet in case we had to make some adjustments. All right, now, if you notice, the bottom tab of the frame bracket is about right in here. So you want to get an idea of where the hole is on your frame bracket, because you do have to drill through right here. First make our pilot hole, make sure we're in the center of our hole in our bracket, then we'll go ahead and drill out to our final hole size, which will be a uh, half inch. Before we install our hardware, we're going to take one of the washers and we need to put this between the frame bracket and the frame. Then we'll take our, our large flat plate and an inch and three quarter long half inch bolt, um, then a lock washer, and then a nut. All right, now our frame bracket is fully installed. Now we can go ahead and torque down the bolts as specified in the instructions. All right, now I'll take the main receiver brace and install onto the frame brackets. When you install this, make sure the receiver tubes are on top of the cross tube. With it in place, we'll go ahead and snug down the bolts. Now we can go ahead and torque these down as well. Okay, now we go ahead and reinstall the nuts that clip back into place. All right, now we need to loosen up these bumper brackets here. All right, we'll take a bracket and push them all the way back out and then snug them back up. This will give us some clearance to reinstall the bumper around the brackets. All right, at this point, we can go ahead and reinstall the bumper. And you definitely want to have an extra set of hands to help do that. All right, at this point, we'll go ahead and reinstall the bumper with the bumper brackets on the inside and the four bolts that are on top of the frame. We'll show you how the front brackets install. They slide into place. Install the hitch pin and then the clip. We'll install our quick link for our safety chains right here. Driver's side done, let's repeat for the passenger side. And with that, I'll finish our install part number 246-6 from Roadmaster.